believe it or not, in the city, there is a lot of open areas. All that's needed is um, sunlight. Don't worry about asphalt. Don't worry about what's there. You know, they don't have to find a spot with soil because you could produce a farm. It's a combination of food that's grown in the ground, grown on a roof, grown on up and down walls. On one end of the spectrum, you have community gardens. You've got school gardens. On the other end of the spectrum, you've got commercial scale farms that are more about crop production. But all of those different types of urban farms all have an important role to play. There are creative ways that every single city can address so many of its issues by incorporating green space and food production uh, into its home. Brooklyn Grange is heading into its sixth season farming the rooftops. We farm two and a half acres of green roofs, an acre at our flagship farm in Long Island City, Queens, and an acre and a half here at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. We can fix that as we go. Over the last couple years, we've grown our business to include 10 full-time employees, uh, several dozen part-time and seasonal employees. We have about 15, 16 restaurant accounts who have standing orders with us, some retailers as well, small mom and pop groceries, no big chains. And then we sell at three uh, farm stands every week at uh, the farmer's market. River Park Farm is a, a project of River Park Restaurant. We're growing in 3,200 converted milk crate planters. So it's very basically a milk crate lined with landscape fabric with potting mix inside. It's a very simple design, but it allows us a lot of flexibility in terms of the layout of the farm. It's, it's modular, uh, it's perfectly mobile. It's a system that is scalable and replicable in, in multiple sites. It's a system that, that pretty much anybody could use. So at Gotham Greens, we use a suite of technologies known as controlled environment agriculture, which enables us to achieve very high productivity and efficiency within our greenhouses. We climate control our greenhouses year round, which allows for year round production. So that's one way we're able to really boost the number of crop turns we get to make this farm as productive. Those yields are going to be equivalent to like a 50 or a 60 acre farm by way of comparison. I have an advantage as a grower here in being able to provide much higher quality goods uh, that might not be able to ship very well, even from a farm upstate. We're disrupting that supply chain, we're avoiding a lot of trucks and planes bringing in highly perishable products from around the world. The good things that happen in the garden are growing food, growing community, um, growing education, growing nutrition. It's more than just growing food. Being able to grow anything is better than nothing, you know? Why not grow food here? Just be able to shift your concept of what is farmland uh, versus what a city is. Um, maybe those two have more in common than you think.